Hello everyone, it's BOS. Let me begin the academic video whose name is The Basics of Mathematics for High School Student. Let's go to study number one. At first, preview. We will study the concept of differential. Differential. Uh, and video consists consists of four parts. But in this video, we are going to study only A because we are new to this content. So B, C, and D will be in next video. At this time, explanation of content is about the function and gradient of straight line. Actually, for instance, differential is used to describe the motion of something. I think it is very good example. Well, the motion of a car uh, well, the motion of car exemplifies it like this. Then Time would be consumed for the motion, right? Well, let's put the time as t. As t. If we could find the motion of car changes with time, the position can be expressed as a function of t. So, f t. And then we can uh, find uh, well, function of t, which is position of car or moving thing, and we can differentiate the position of car, which is function, with t. So, and by differentiating the function, we can know about many things about it, like these how rapid the position has been changed, or when the velocity would be the fastest. Well, for another example, the vertical motion of ball. In that case, we may know about this and this, and so on, when the position will be the highest where the velocity would be zero. So, to be able to understand how to know it, know it exactly, we should learn about the basic concept of function and gradient in advance. It seems that, that you already know about coordinate and x-axis, y-axis. As we saw together, the motion of these things changes with time. So let's put the x as t, which is time, and then y is the function of t. At the time, the value of function is the position of the moving thing. That's because the position of thing changes with time. At this time, yeah, the function, at this time, the function has this value, right? And the time would pass. So at this time, the function has this value, like this. If we check each position with time by looking at moving thing exactly, yeah, so we can connect these dots in one line. Ah, it is graph of function, which is function of position with time. Ah, for your information, this negative part of x is not needed for us, cause time is always positive. Now we find graph of this function. Well, at the time a, function has f a. At the time b, 
function as fb. Then, let me zoom in on this part to analyze it conveniently. Then, shall we take a look at this picture and this straight line? Again, okay. straight line. This straight line is very important. So, well, as we already learned about the gradient of a straight line in the school, the formula of it is this. However, do you know about what this means exactly? This denominator means the amount of change, the amount of change in direction of x-axis. That's because if we add a uh, a and b minus a, we can get b which is final value of x and the num well and the numerator and the numer numerator and the numerator uh, means the in the amount of change in direction of y axis like this fb minus fa well fa plus fb minus fa is fa which means final value of y which is at B. Therefore, the gradient straight line, the gradient of straight line means the rate of change. Why? Look at these three straight lines. You can see this picture. You can see this graph and this mark. You can see that the bigger the value of gradient is, the more dramatically value of function changes. Namely, if we put this b minus a as constant amount, same amount, constant, then we can realize the bigger the bigger numerator is, the bigger numerator is the more dramatically value of function changes like this dramatically changes if you are confused about this explanation look at fb about on the left side on the left side carefully as you can see the bigger gradient is the more fb is higher so function changes is also bigger do you understand? Yeah, right. So function changes is also bigger. So, uh, well, uh, the gradient of straight line means the rate of change. Well, yeah, I think as we are new, we should finish this video at this point. Well, contents of next video will be differential. Uh, uh, thank you for your watching this video. So, see you next BMH, basic mathematic, yeah, for high school student video. Then, bye.